Hi, I'm Lewis. And I'm Alice. And this is Turn It Up, CUTV's brand new music show where we'll be bringing you interviews, reviews and live sessions from some of the hottest acts around today. Coming up we've got interviews with Billy Talent, Don Broco and a live session with Charlotte and Luke Ritchie. But first let's go over to Helen and Alice chatting to the back scenes. So um, you've played sort of you're doing a tour of smaller venues like Cardiff obviously tonight but then you're doing an arena tour in February is that that's right? that's right yeah so what's it like to take the jump up to arenas now well we did a lot of arena shows with the Arctic Monkeys um, last year and then we did a stadium tour with the Red Hot Chili Peppers in Europe oh wow so yeah, it's just like how much fun the gig is yeah and how many people is it's kind of secondary really do you know what I mean like you start yeah. to realise that it's it's you know it's a Hundred people, or ten thousand, or ten hundred thousand. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's it really matter when you're on it, stage. It's I guess. just it's about like you know what you do when you're there you know, and what you make of it. Really, okay. it's, I, I find it real daunting. <laughs> I remember <laughs> when we when we first went to the O2 uh, arena in in London, and yeah, that that sort of that walk to stage. You know, it's sort mm. of you're, you're right in the bowels of it, and you get out mm. on the stage, and it just goes. It's like you're in the the Coliseum, you know, yeah, it goes right up around you. And it's I can imagine that being pretty, pretty daunting. Terrifying. Yeah, but um, but you know, like when you when you go and you sort of just think about the gig, and when you go out, you know, like there's a moment of holy shit, and then <laughs> and then you're in, and you and, and you sort of just doing what you do. And yeah. but there's nothing scarier than playing in a pub with someone looking really? at you bored in the front row. Like oh no, there's no <laughs> surely that doesn't happen to you. Well, it hasn't happened for us for a while, but it happened just for many years before we met each other yeah. in different bands. There's, really? no, there's nothing scarier than someone sitting in the front row of a pub like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you get that nowadays. It would yeah. sc- <laughs> scar you for life, I Aww. guarantee. Thanks for that, guys. That was The Vaccines. I heard they played an awesome gig at Cardiff Uni Great Hall, so definitely have to check them out next time they're in town. Definitely. Anyway, over to Ollie Richards now. Uh, he went to see Pure Love and Lost Profits earlier this week. It sounds like a lot of people enjoyed the Pure Love and Lost Profits gig. Uh, Welsh boys obviously getting a good reception when they come back to their home country. Definitely. Anyway, we're going to go over to Sam Lloyd now, who is having a little chat to Don Broco. Yeah, I've prepared a little Don Broco quiz, <laughs> uh, and it's based around the name Don Broco, cool. and uh, yeah. it's to test your Broco-ness. Okay. <laughs> are, you, are you ready, Rob? I'm ready. Are you ready, Matt? I am ready. Let's do this. Question one. <clears throat> what is the name of the opera written by Mozart, Don... Is it Quizioni? Is, oh, is that like a sandwich? I literally like? haven't got a clue. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> it's Don Giovanni. Don Giovanni. Oh. No idea. Okay, we, we, we've formed into it though. Here we go. Uh, in which video game might you expect to collect bananas? Donkey uh, Kong. Donkey Kong. Yes. Yeah. We're on the board. Boom. What kind of kebab is uh, is actually medically known to heal drunken sorrows? Donna. Donna. That's <laughs> correct. Uh, what kind of green vegetable comes in florets? Broccoli. Broccoli. On and a roll now, the final question, are you really building it up? Are <laughs> yeah. you going to finish on a high? Don Corneone is in which film? Godfather, is it? Yeah. Did I say is it, right? it Is it Cor... Cor- is Cor- it Cor- It's the Godfather. Yeah. It's the Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you've got five out of seven, lads. I'll, I'll take that. That's pretty good. good. Like that. High fives all around. Nice. I'm going to... Really Get nice. do a better one. Awesome. Uh, oh, two high imagine. fives. Three high fives. <laughs> I'm going to have a handshake as well. Ah. Uh, thank you very much, Rob. Thank you very much, Matt. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Good luck with the show tonight. Thanks. Cheers. And uh, yeah, this is uh, Don Broco, CUTV. Thanks a lot. 
Okay, so we're here chatting to Chris Williams, who went to see Don Broco, AWOL Nation, and Billy Talent on the weekend, and he also interviewed Billy Talent. So how was the gig? The gig was absolutely amazing, actually. Um, I didn't really have that high hopes for Don Broco, and because I'm not really that big a fan of the album, but they're just so intense live, and it was actually, <laughs> actually really, really good. Really impressed by them. Um, AWOL Nation played the classic Sale, brilliant song. So how was it interviewing Billy Talent? I mean, if you're a massive fan... Do you feel... Oh, that was petrifying. I realised, someone said to me, I said, oh, I'm going to interview Billy Talent. They're like, oh, have you interviewed anyone before? I was like, <laughs> no, I haven't. I'm interviewing Billy Talent. And, uh, but they're really nice guys. We spoke to the lead singer and the bassist. And uh, yeah, no, they're really good. And they said when in the interview, they were like, we're just going to make sure we play you know, the classics and a few, few decent songs from the new album. And they did just that. So they sort of lived up to their word as well as being pretty nice guys, which is really good. Hi, I'm... I'm Chris. I'm Kaylee, and we're here with Billy Talent for CUTV. How are you guys? Good, how are you? Yeah. Yeah, not too bad. Not Good. too bad, thanks. So we could sort of hear you guys sound checking earlier. It's, it's a bit loud up here, and I could sort of hear what I, well, what I thought was surprise, surprise being yeah. played. How's the new stuff going down to Great. the Great, uh, really, crowds? really well. Yeah, yeah. We're actually, it's been hard for us every night because we're trying to figure out what new songs to play because you don't want to bore people because I hate going and seeing shows where a band comes out with a new record and then they play like 10 songs after yeah. they're like fuck off it's <laughs> like just play me the hits you know what I mean yeah. uh, so we're trying to figure out a way to uh, incorporate a lot of the old and sprinkle in some of the new and it's been tough for us to try to figure out what songs to actually play yeah. each night because uh, yeah but it's a good problem to have I guess but no the new stuff's been uh, going over really well Awesome. And what's the song that you play that you know that will get the crowd going? Which song do you think that is? Oh, there's several of them, um, you know, but Fallen Leaves and Red Flag and, and, you know, a lot of the a lot of the singles and stuff like that that we've released are always get the crowd going. But uh, the whole set's really energetic. The crowd, Our it's crowd is always amazing. All right, how are Billy Talent? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. It was fantastic. Absolutely beautiful. I love Billy Talent. I've seen them before and they've been better before. I think it's the first time I've actually had a proper mosh pit. Honestly. Proper mosh pit. How do you find the proper mosh pit? Better than usual, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. What was your favourite song by Billy Talent? Oh, um, fucking Death March. <laughs> Try honesty. I always enjoy Red Flag. Always. Red Flag. Classic. Uh, what do you think of the support bands? A Wall Nation and Don Broco. Um, I like the second one. A Wall Nation. The one with the guys that look like Hanson. Hanson lookalikes. I thought Don Broco was really good, yeah. That was Billy Talent. Looked like a pretty awesome gig. I was in the union at the time, but sadly couldn't go, so a bit gutted. Next time. Yeah, next time definitely I'll definitely be there. Time. But so, to finish off, we've got an awesome session from Charlotte and Luke Ritchie. Charlotte Ritchie plays Oregon in Fresh Meat. Yeah. Which, quality show. I especially know, Especially if love you're it. a student. It's pretty good. Pretty spot on with <laughs> student <laughs> lives. It is, maybe. it is. My housemates don't get it. I don't know how, but... I don't understand why. It's so hilarious. Beat the buffet, I totally want to do that. Hiding the, what is it, bags? No noodles Stealing in noodles bags from Chinese bags. quality. Yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, stay tuned. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, guys.